At Appearing Global, we see the future uh, business environment in China to become much more connected, both internally and externally. Um, in the past, China has been um, had very much of a regional identity, but with new policies such as the Go West policy, whereby having workforce shifting from um, uh, first-tiered cities to second and third-tier cities, um, you see a lot of changes in the demographics and socioeconomic demographics within China. And externally, we're seeing Chinese companies increasingly um, acquire companies in new markets such as Latin America, the Middle East, Africa, Southeast Asia, and certainly in Australia. Um, and with this, Chinese leadership is very much leading in a Chinese way. Through our research um, on Tomorrow's Leaders, where we interviewed HR practitioners, business leaders, as well as high potential Chinese, um, we found two trends. One of the trends is um, having Chinese leaders um, as, as leaders, as uh, leaders as learners. And by this we mean traditionally Chinese leaders are very hierarchical in their approach. And they're expected to know about 90% of their role, um, uh, and, and that's the expectation. Um, that they have all of the tools to do their job. However, we're seeing a trend in, through our research and interviews that we've conducted that there's a real need to shift Chinese leaders or um, shifting into being leaders as learners and really having about 60% of the role knowledge and having that opportunity to learn as leaders um, and really shift those expectations from that 90%, potentially maybe to 60%. Another trend that we're seeing through our research is the need for Chinese leaders to lead um, more authentically. Um, traditionally, or in the, excuse me, in the last 15 to 20 years, um, Chinese leaders that have worked in Western multinational companies have really had to adapt their um, management style um, to fit Western um, management models. And they themselves have, um, have shared with us that that has, been, uh, has left them feeling quite authentic in their own leadership style. Um, so we're starting to see a trend and desire for this to shift. Um, one example is Chinese leaders are extraordinary networkers. Um, they have very complex networks within the China market. However, when they work outside of the China market, skills that they need to develop are how to build these networks um, in a global basis. And this is one of the um, key skills that the Chinese managers um, need to develop in, um, and develop this particular competency in order to take on broader global uh, roles. At Aparian Global, um, we see the strategies and tools um, threefold. Um, the first is a, a really to um, really customize any kind of initiatives that are done in the China market for Chinese leaders versus taking um, Western initiatives and bringing them to China. Uh, we find through um, the work that we do, the, um, the largest success in developing Chinese leaders is really that customization um, within the China market for any initiatives that are done here. Another um, uh, way for successful um, initiatives to, to work for leadership development in China is to ensure that there is very high senior executive buy-in um, and uh, participation in leadership uh, in, in initiatives in the China market. Um, this offers great exposure for Chinese executives and Chinese uh, potential leaders um, to have high visibility. And by this I mean bringing a C-suite, whether it's president president of an organization, chairman, um, over to the China market. Let them have the opportunity, the Chinese leaders, the opportunity to spend time and increase their visibility um, with global leaders. Um, in addition, we would um, uh, uh, the, the most success is in providing them, uh, Chinese leaders, the tools, the communication tools in order to convey their point of view when they're speaking um, with the C-suite level and giving them and building the confidence that they need in order to do so. 
And lastly, we see um, the success in initiatives in China um, offering the opportunity for Chinese leaders to have um, a great deal of exposure outside of the China market, um, whether they're gi uh, given the opportunity for lateral moves, um, uh, taking on global roles that are here in the China market, but really giving exposure and opportunity for them to become more organizational savvy.